Welcome to the Top 10 Mzanzi. Mzanzi, the impact of COVID-19 pandemic in South Africa has not only impacted negatively on job losses, businesses closing down, or restrictions, but unfortunately in the process, we have lost lives. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the top 10 South African celebrities or public figures who have unfortunately lost their lives as a result of the COVID-19 and its complications thereof. Please remember to subscribe to the channel in order to stay updated of the top 10 realities and facts regarding Zanzi's entertainment. And also please hit the like button in case you have not done so yet. On number one, we have Madeleine Van Veek, who died on the 27th of March in 2020. Madeleine was neither a celebrity nor a public figure prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, she got to be known because she was the first South African to die from COVID-19, bringing in home the reality of the pandemic, which hit South Africa badly since the country's first coronavirus infection was confirmed. Madeleine became famous a few hours after her death, and almost every South African knew Madeleine van Veek's name and a photograph of her with a huge and a beautiful smile. Under normal circumstances, the national government would not have publicly announced the death of the 48-year-old, but unfortunately, the circumstances have made her famous. From her death, South Africans started taking serious the impact of the infection and thus started taking precautions as advice. On number two, we have Zinzi Mandela, also known as Zinzi Mandela Shongwani. She was a South African diplomat and poet and also a daughter of the anti-apartheid activists and politicians Nelson Mandela and Winnie Madigizela Mandela. Zinzi was the youngest and a third of Nelson Mandela's three daughters. Zinzi died on the 13th of July in 2020 at a hospital in Johannesburg at the age of 59. It was revealed that she had tested positive for COVID-19 on the day of her death. On number three, we have Jackson Tembu, a South African politician who served as a minister in the presidency of South Africa's government and as a parliamentarian for the African National Congress. Previously, he served as a whip of parliament for the ruling ANC as well as a national spokesperson for the ANC. Mr. Mtembu succumbed to COVID-19 10 days after testing positive for the virus on the 21st of January in 2021. Furthermore, a medical helicopter transporting one of his doctors crashed the same day, killing all five of them on board. On number four, we have Karima Brown. Karima Brown was a South African journalist. She worked in a variety of positions, being a political editor for national daily magazine Business Day and launching Forbes Women Africa. She was also known for a court case that she took against the economic freedom fighters. The well-known television host and a political commentator has been hospitalized for several weeks with COVID-19 complications and later succumbed to the virus on the 4th of March in 2021 at the age of 54. She was buried on the same day according to the Islamic religion. Karima Brown was criticized for sparking anger when she spoke of Jackson Tembu's replacement just a minute after the news of Jackson Tembu's death. On number five, we have King Zolitini Butelezi. King Goodwill Zolitini Ka Peggy Zulu was the reigning king of the Zulu nation from 1968 till his death. He became king on the passing of his father, King Cyprian Begizulu. King Zolitini lost his life on the 12th of March in 2021 after succumbing to COVID-19 complications. And on number six, we have Dr. Cindy Fanze, also known as Cindy Siwe Fanze. Cindy Siwe Fanze was a Zimbabwean-born South African physician, radio DJ, health activist, and a researcher known for using social media and a mainstream media to share HIV-related mental health, reproductive health, other medical and a public health information.
She won several awards for her work and due to her extensive public health advocacy, she was also known as the people's doctor. Mzazi, on number seven, we have Camp J. Camp, who was arguably best known for depending former President Jacob Zuma during his 2006 rape trial. According to a publication, a close friend who did not wish to be named said a camp had been admitted to hospital after battling with COVID-19 symptoms. He was discharged and has been staying with a friend but really moved back to his apartment. When he didn't answer his phone, the alarm was raised and unfortunately he was found dead in his bed. On number eight, we have a gospel singer, Israel Musetla. The Soweto-born musician was a part of a gospel group called G Effect in 1985 before branching out as a solo artist. While some publications confirm that his death was due to COVID-19, others have mentioned instead battling with hypertension that eventually led to a heart failure. Mr. Musetla was 50 years old when he died. On number nine, we have Dr. Frank Mdlalosi. Frank Atemba Mdlalosi was the first premier of the newly renamed KwaZulu-Natal province in South Africa. After the South African National Congress, the country's first all-inclusive general election in April 1994, Dr. Mdalosi died from complications of COVID-19 on the 4th of April in 2021. And on number 10, we have K.K. Mutiani. Kayelile Kenneth Mutiani, former Deputy President of the Supreme Court of Appeal, succumbed to COVID-19 just days after his wife, Standiwe. Mtiani was a deputy president of the appeal court from 2012 to 2014 and acted on the constitutional court in 2011. He was once described by the former Chief Justice Pius Langa as a gentleman. Our deepest condolences to all the affected families. And to the lost champions, we say rest easy, rest well, rest peacefully, and rest in power. Mzanzi, I would like to hear from you in the comment section below if you have also lost a loved one due to COVID-19 and how have you been coping afterwards. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on my next upload. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a massive thumbs up. Thanks. Bye.